Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we didn't get invited a lot of a lot of places after playing shows with the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that was like the early, the early days of like, all right, let's let's you know set up our own light show and see how that goes. And a lot of people kind of hated us for that. And I I had similar struggles with like my first tour overseas in Europe because it was like I ordered a bunch of lights from Amazon and returned them at the end of the tour, but it was like mm-hmm. I was packing them into their boxes at the end of each night because I didn't have cases or anything. So because yeah. of, because of me, we were leaving an hour later for every show and like, I felt bad, but it's like, you figure it out as you go. Now I have like a stage plot where it's like, I hand it to the sound guy at the beginning of the night and he's like, this is awesome actually. Like you do you <laughs> because it's like, it, it clearly shows that I'm not an idiot. I know what I'm doing with this stuff. Uh, yeah. And I'll be out of everybody's way. Like, so you, you learn that stuff as you go. And that's, that could all be integrated into the video game because like anything, you know, you get, you get your, your tour etiquette, your stage etiquette, your, uh, personalities within the band etiquette like you kind of figure all that out as you go and over the last six years you guys have been a part of many other projects and Brian you've yeah. been on Warp Tour until it's dying day and that could you know I want that to be like one of the seasons of this video game of like get through, yeah. get through Warp Tour and like get your way to, to the main stage of Warp Tour starting from the parking lot um yeah. <laughs> I still tell people that was like that was like the that's still the best summer like of my life. It was I yeah, I always say I am so glad I did it. I would never do it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was the hardest thing on the body like ever. I don't and, think I could do it again now. I, like I turned 21 on that tour and I'm 28 now and uh yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know if I could, if I could do it again. Yeah, it's a grind. It was but like, so brutal. It, it it it's like it's one of those things where two weeks into it, you're just like your body adapts and and you're able to sleep two hours a night and eat very little food yeah. and you end up like just becoming this beast of a touring artist. And we we had that, especially with all the shit that we That's were true. setting up that summer. It was like we were like. Dude, beast roadies, beast musicians. Yeah. Like that was we we were playing like Beatles sets. We were playing sometimes four hours because we'd play an hour straight in the morning, uh, two hours as people were leaving. Sometimes, if we were lucky, yeah. like we wanted to. Um, but yeah, yeah, like multiple sets, like in the morning and at night. Sometimes even like especially on the West Coast where people liked us. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I was about to say. Is like the totally just. You know, we finish a set, my hands are bleeding, it hurts to hold anything in my hands, and we're just like, oh, we're about to go again, and it's just like, okay. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. it was the the ultimate test. In the heat, you you know, no tent over us. Uh, Yeah. So yeah, all, all I can all I could think because you know people don't really have the patience to watch a two hour documentary these days um, is like making a video game where people would be like, wow, this is telling an incredible story, and y- you know how there's like Guitar Hero and Rock uh, Rock Hero or whatever it's called where you have to like yeah. play the, play the notes, so that'll be like two per- two percent of it. Maybe the Warp Tour one a little more because we were playing long sets, but y- like performing yeah. is like. I always tell people is like being in a band is so tedious and not glamorous at all because really the part that everybody else sees is the two percent that looks the fun 2%. playing and then there's all the other back end stuff especially with social media now and all, all your online presence that you have to keep up with you end up spending as as many hours online in front of a computer as a as a desk job in a cubicle which sounds depressing but it's like uh, and then on top yeah. of that, you gotta you gotta you be a roadie after that. You know, after booking your entire yeah. tour, you're gonna be a roadie for the next fifty percent of your tour, and then yeah, two percent of that you're gonna be on stage playing, and you know you're gonna be trying to sell merch, and you're gonna be fixing a tire. Like you're gonna be doing a lot of things you don't like doing, so you you better love it. Is what I always tell people. Yeah, 
It's almost like uh, to compare it to like the normal uh, workday life, like the performing is is almost like the beer you have at the end of your long day when you come home from work. But then it's like your workday still isn't even over. Yeah. You know, I get to enjoy this for for five minutes and then it's like back to work. It the the narrative of it being hard work, like isn't something that's pushed a lot, especially to you know kids when they're growing up because they don't you know people don't want you to see behind the curtain they just want you to see everything that they're sewing but it's like dude you know when i was in my first band i was like music sounds great like when is someone gonna sign us Mm -hmm. and i want to be signed even you know and like just the ignorance behind all of that and the lack of transparency in the industry over time is just like fooled everybody and 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 that's why people are like I think you suck and like they'll move on to the next thing and they're like <laughs> you know like it doesn't matter that, re- that, that, <laughs> you're re- like, that reminds me of the ego crushing night in Muncie <laughs> Indiana where Christian is just standing out there in the cold packing this trailer and this girl walks by like hey are you guys in a band and Christian's like <laughs> just doesn't want anything to do with it he's like yes oh what band? Nobody cares. And she walked away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, she waited until my mouth opened to respond. And it goes, oh, nobody cares. And then, like, I was like, few, I, I feel like I blacked out emotionally. I was so fuming. And then, like, we went back in the club and like had a good time and stuff the rest of the night. But then, like, I, you know, two hours later or however long later, you know, I'm like, I finally let it go, and I'm like on the dance floor with like Alec and and Mitch and then she just kind of like uh, shuffles by me like nobody cares nobody cares nobody cares and I was like god damn it it's so mean